This is an intelligent automated system. How can I help you today? Um, I'd just like to check the status of my order. Did you say you wanted to place an order? No, 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 no. I just want to check the status of my order. Okay, I'll place your order. No. How many units would you like? No, cancel. I want to check the status of my order. Okay, 1,000 units. I'll place that order. No, for stop. You. Ah! Alright, welcome to Take 5. Don't you wish that building intelligent, useful chatbots was easier? Sounds to me like... Sounds to me like you want to talk more about dialogue flow. That's right. Do you have a demo to show us? Yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. Here we have the dialogue flow console, so let's go ahead and create a new agent. We will go ahead and call it Take 5 Demo. We will select the language, English, for now, but you see we have many options, and we'll also select the time zone. Finally, we'll attach this to a GCP project, and we'll just create a new one for now. Now that our agent has been created, let's go ahead and define some intents. But before we do, let's look at some of our pre-made intents uh, that were created automatically with our agent. We have first our fallback intent, and also our welcome intent. Let's dive a little deeper into our fallback intent. This intent will catch anything the bot does not understand and respond accordingly. Here, there's no need to add any training data, but, but we can edit how the bot will respond to our users. By default, we have some examples here on the screen. Essentially, can you repeat that again? Or, hey, I didn't catch that. Let's go ahead and go back to the main screen and look at our default welcome intent. Here, the bot is looking for users input such as hi, hello, hey there, or any other type of greeting, and will automatically respond with its own greeting, as you can see here. To make things a little interesting, let's go ahead and edit the text of the response and have the chat bot actually ask for the user's name as part of that greeting. So here we'll go ahead and add what's your name to every single option. Now let's add some common greetings that the user may enter such as hi, hello, and a couple of other examples as well. This way the chatbot knows exactly what to expect before it gives us it, its phrases. Now the great thing about Dialogflow is that you just need to give it a few examples and then Dialogflow will go ahead and extrapolate for you. We recommend at least using 10 examples so that Dialogflow can get an idea of the kind of things that it should expect before it gives its phrases. And once we've done this, we'll go ahead and click Save. Now, from an intent, we can also add a follow-up intent. As you can see, we have a bunch of default options you could pick, but for this example, we'll go ahead and pick the custom option. And now that we've selected it, let's go ahead and dive into it. The first thing we're going to do is edit the name, and the name of this intent, we'll just call it saying hi. Now, just like we did before, we'll go ahead and add some training phrases. Since at this point, the bot just asked us our name, we'll go ahead and give Dialogflow different examples of different ways that someone may say their name. As an example here, I'll put uh, just the first name. And you'll see that as I add examples, Dialogflow will automatically identify that I put a first name, a last name. And even when I add other words such as my name is, or they call me, or I go by, Dialogflow will still be able to identify which part of the sentence is the name, and we do this by using our natural language processing. If at any point Dialogflow does not catch any particular name, you can simply select that word and then tell Dialogflow that that is a name. That way, you're making sure that Dialogflow is understanding the context of the input that the user is actually giving. Now, as we scroll to the bottom, we can actually add the responses that the bot uh, will give. And we'll have our bot say, hello, and thank you for chatting with me. But since we want this to be a little bit more personalized, we're actually going to include the first name input of the user that was originally given to us. And we do this simply by adding a dollar sign and then saying given name. This will make sure that whatever the given name input was, we're using for our output from the chatbot. And then we'll go ahead and click Save. So now that we've built a pretty simple robot, let's go ahead and look at a quick demo. We'll go ahead and uh, go to the integration section where you see we can integrate with a bunch of different partners. And we'll go ahead and click on Web Demo. And here we have our chatbot live. So we'll go ahead and say hi to it really quickly. And we're prompted automatically to say our name. And then we'll give it a brand new name that it's never seen before. 
So here I'll put Enrique Iglesias as an example. And it automatically captured my name and I was able to say hi back to it, even though I had never seen that name before. I know this is a really simple demo of Dialogflow, but just now imagine the possibilities, making a decision tree with different intents and different actions, prompting users for different inputs, and then tying in a backend that can have actionable requests. This is just the surface of what Dialogflow can do. So if you want to build a great chatbot, instead of one of these, you should be using Dialogflow. Yep, and in less than five minutes, you can be up and running. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're working on any cool projects, please click on the link below.